welcome to today's episode of the Allahi My Me podcast. I am your host Linda. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so you never miss another podcast episode. If you want to receive daily morning devotional WhatsApp message, WhatsApp right now morning mana m o r n i n g m a n n a two zero zero two seven six eight one nine three nine one zero four. Once again zero zero two seven six eight one nine three nine one zero four. And this is the podcast to show how God is with all of us all the time and so making your home making life more closer with god and to know more visit it's linslife.com after the episode today we are going to read hebrews chapter 4 reading friday this is elohim i me podcast good morning lovely ladies welcome to reading friday episode with elohim i me podcast first of all first and foremost i'm sorry that i didn't upload any or podcast last tuesday um actually um if you are following my instagram you already know you might have know or else i am actually going to do my product sale at a workshop which is hosting by lozanta from uh, south africa um so it's tomorrow actually sunday uh, sorry saturday 27th so i was totally busy uh, with a uh, product production i thought to record just come over here and just do a casual talk but i couldn't find that proper time that's why i was not uh, i didn't put up an episode last tuesday i'm sorry about that but um, i hope i can put up another episode on coming tuesday for you where we will do a casual talk on tuesday let's see how god is leading me we will continue with the prayer and also my prayer request i have a big prayer request for you is for tomorrow's workshop please pray for those workshop this is my first um workshop as an illustrator over here i am really thankful to lord jesus christ for this opportunity and also thanks for to lazanda so yeah you can check her instagram lazanda or you can go woman of reverence so yeah she is also a god fearing believer uh, so yes please pray for us regarding that lazanda is the a workshop presenter so she's going to take an destiny activator class for all the ladies all super awesome beautiful ladies i'm too excited to attend this workshop so please please pray on this regard um, i would really love to have some sale over there because this is of course this is my first uh, workshop in public so yeah please pray for me and also for lucinda and also there are two more ladies who's presenting there with their products as well please pray for them as well and also for all the ladies who is attending the workshop so today is reading friday uh, last friday i said i asked you to uh, read continue reading the luke and once you're done luke start with the hebrews uh, book of hebrews so today we are supposed to be on hebrews chapter 4 so why are what are you waiting for grab your bible uh, grab your coffee plug in your head for head for net set so we can read together and turn your bible to hebrews chapter 4 Hebrews chapter 4 Let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest any of you should seem to come short of it for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with the with faith in them that heard it for we which have believed to do enter into rest as he said as i have sworn in my wrath if they shall enter into my rest although the works were finished from the foundation of the world for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise and god did rest the seventh day from all his works and this place again if they shall enter into my rest seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein and there to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief again he limited the certain day saying in david to day after so long a time as it is said to do today if ye will hear his voice harden not your hearts for if jesus had given the rest then would he not afterward have spoken of another day there remained therefore a rest to the people of god 
for he that is entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works as God did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing a center of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature, creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens jesus the son of god let us hold fast our profession for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews, book of Hebrews is wonderful. It's, it talks a lot about faith. Um, and let me, yeah, the verse 7, it mentioned like harden, harden not your hearts. When I read, suddenly it came to my mind like nowadays we harden our heart. Um, not uh, with the word of God because because of our uh, uh, pleasure in the world to have that pleasure in the world right like we cannot um, sacrifice some of the happiness which is actually against the word of God that is where actually this hardening of the um, hardening of our heart happened regard with along with the word of God nowadays because of that uh, we cannot, it's very difficult to sacrifice that, some of that happiness uh, going around with the world. And uh, yeah, I feel in that way. I don't know how you feel uh, about that. Let me know uh, how we, what's your thought about hard and not your hearts, how it's related to the practical life, the present life uh, with hardening our hearts with the word of God. Uh, let me know your thoughts about that. This is what suddenly came into my mind. Anyways, so this is another beautiful chapter, Hebrew chapter. Chapter four. I hope you are continuing. You are reading uh, yeah, the daily um, Bible with me with these chapters. So please do continue read Hebrews. I will be also reading Hebrews um, with you, guy, with you ladies as well. So um, yeah, we will be. We will still be on Hebrews next Friday as well. So I will be coming uh, and reading next the 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 representative chapter on next Friday and I will let you know which book we will be reading after Hebrews. So good, right? It's going so good. We are going to finish our um, New Testament so quick. So I hope you are reading with me. Um, okay, so please do continue the reading of your book, The Hebrews. I will see all of you on the next reading Friday and remember, God is with you and me all the time. This is Elohim I Me podcast. Joshua 1 9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You might have doubts, you might have troubles, but the woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. This is Elohim Aimee Podcast.